I could find. I believe I'll have you deliver the dress if you don't mind. I did say I'd take it. with everyone. Why don't they answer me? Jesus was a carpenter, and he worked with a saw and a hammer, and his hands could form a table true enough. <gasps> what is it? I didn't mean any harm. I just stopped to get a drink. No. No. It was that man. That man. There was someone else there. That strange man was there. Now, look, look. You've had a fright. Hysteria won't solve anything. Now, control yourself. Look, I'm Dr. Samuels. My office is right across the street there. You've had a shock. If you would like my assistance, I'll be glad to offer it. Thank you. Could I come with you now? Certainly. I'll take her over to my office. We'll see that she's all right. It was more than just not being able to hear anything make contact with anyone. It was as though... as though for a time I didn't exist. As though I had no place in the world. No part of the life around me. And then you saw this... this man. Yes. You'll excuse my back, but I wanted to get some of that written down. I must have been talking for an hour. Anything else? Anything you haven't told me? That's all there is. That's the whole story. He's been following me. That's all there is to it. It isn't that simple, though, is it? What do you mean? He could hardly have been in the park this afternoon, or one of us men would have seen him. And that night in the hallway, you said yourself the landlady came up a minute later, and she didn't see him, did she? What are you driving at? It's been less than a week since you were in a car that crashed into the river. How you got out of that, no one seems to know. But that experience must have been a serious emotional shock. You think I imagined all of it, don't you? You think I'm insane? I didn't say that. I don't mean that. I'm a competent person. If anything, I'm a realist. I'm not given to imagining anything. Hogwash. All of us imagine things. Have you never heard two men talking behind your back and imagined they were talking about you? Have you never imagined you saw someone you knew and walked up to them and found they were a perfect stranger? I don't see what this has to do with it. 
The point is this. Our imaginations play tricks on us. They often misinterpret what we see and hear. Do you agree? I suppose so. If that can happen in ordinary times, go a step further. Look what can happen in a high fever or following a serious emotional shock. It doesn't seem possible that I could have imagined all of it. Does this man, this figure, resemble anyone you've ever known? An acquaintance or your father? No. You have a boyfriend here or back home? No, and I have no desire for one. Never? No. Surprised by myself saying that. But it's true. I have no desire for the close company of other people. Have you always felt this way? I, I don't know. Don't you want to join in the things that other people do? Share the experiences of other people? I don't seem capable of being very close to people. I, I do feel that perhaps I, I am trying to reach out for those other things. Do you feel guilty wanting them? I, I don't understand you. I'm not a psychiatrist, and, and perhaps I'm being clumsy at all this. But I am suggesting that perhaps this figure represents a guilt feeling. Oh, that's ridiculous. Maybe. Frankly, I don't know. Well, I know one thing. My imagination is playing tricks on me. I'm going to put a stop to it. You're a very strong-willed person, aren't you? I survive, if that's what you mean. That old pavilion out by the lake. Somehow you associate it with all this, don't you? I could go out there. I could put an end to that, too. I could go out now, there. Now, don't be hasty. If it is all my imagination, I could put a stop to it. Maybe, but at least someone should be with you. Now, I can't possibly get away now. As you say, Doctor, I'm a person of strong will. And the time to go out there is now. And if I have to, I can go alone. <laughs>